Hello friends, uh, my name is Rohit and today I am here and uh, uh, giving you a demonstration of a clam meter. Uh, first of all, uh, let me welcome to you uh, to my channel, uh, Test and Measurement People and today I will give you a demonstration of a clam meter. It is a small size clam meter and uh, the make is Sigma and uh, the model number is 677. Uh, so let's uh, start the demonstration of this instrument. I will uh, give you a detailed uh, uh, demonstration of this instrument and uh, give you all the parameters what it can test. What is the least count of this instrument? What are the parameters in there? What is the highest range of it? And I will give you all the details in this video. So let's uh, start the demonstration of this video. So let's uh, start opening this uh, packet and and uh, and I will confirm you what it has. It is firstly it has a main unit, it has a temperature probe, it has a lead set, manual and a raxin carrying case. It has all the things and the battery is also provided with the instrument. Uh, so let me firstly confirm it to you the specification of this instrument. It's a, a small size clam meter, a decent size clam meter and uh, the jaw size of this uh, clamp meter is 25 mm and it has all the ranges voltage ac and dc current it can measure only ac it cannot measure, measure dc current it has a resistance continuity diode checking capacitance temperature frequency and ncv ncv stands for non contact voltage detection i will give you a light de light demonstration also about this point and I will show you and confirm you uh, that uh, what exactly NCV means and what how to use this uh, uh, parameters in the clam meters and most of the clam meters uh, coming in the markets and are coming uh, are to be uh, this uh, launch uh, is having these uh, this parameters and uh, I will give you all the uh, details of this in this video let me first uh, start with the manual part and here you can see all the details are written over here and it has uh, all uh, AC voltage, DC voltage, then uh, the resistance path and you can see uh, AC current, no it doesn't have a DC current, frequency, capacitance, temperature, NCV and uh, diode checking and continuity buzzer setting is also there. So uh, let's go with it and I have already put it the batteries into the uh, clam meter and uh, here are the lead set which are provided with the instrument and it's a decent sort of a uh, lead set. I have seen most of the time that uh, all the sigma clam meters and the multimeter they provide a decent type of a good quality type of a uh, lead set which is mostly uh, required in the me uh, with the meter because uh, most of the time. Uh, some uh, some of the manufacturers don't uh, look into these small things and the uh, quality of the lead set provided with the instruments are not that much decent and most of the time uh, my friends who are working here and there in working the fields uh, uh, their lead sets get destroyed uh, while opening the instrument only and they only think that uh, the meter is not working so uh, the lead set which is provided is fine uh, here it is and uh, I will give you the uh, demonstration of each parameters now. So I have put the batteries onto it. Now you can see it is on and I have connected the lead set also. Firstly I will confirm it to you the panel uh, which is, uh, is having. It is having both voltage AC and DC. That is uh, resistance, that is capacitance, that is diode checking, that is continuity, that is frequency, that is NCV and uh, this is uh, ampere AC no it cannot measure DC current and here it is it's a temperature range and uh, here you can see it's written also it's true RMS means uh, those people mo most of the people who are working uh, in the harmonics part so this is a good thing for them uh, that they it's a, it's a small type of clamp meter and it's having both uh, it's having uh, true RMS range the accuracy wise uh, you can confirm that uh, the accuracy of this instrument is quite good as compared to the other mean value uh, clam meters that are available in the market. So uh, 
you can see there are three buttons one is H one is REL another is set so H is for the holding any value when you are measuring anything and you want to hold that value then you have to press this H button then this is the REL button uh, REL button is uh, mainly used when you are using um, AC current and you see that there are some readings going on uh, let's say after some months or some years uh, the, the clamp, every clamp meters develop some, some sort of an error so to uh, clear that error we use this REL button and when we will be pressing this REL button uh, all the zero error goes and uh, then you can uh, measure uh, the current of any sample of yours at quite accurately and this is a set button, set button is uh, uh, it will be using for change from AC to DC it's an auto range multimeter and one single range is provided so you, if you have to select from AC or DC on voltage ranges or in uh, this uh, resistance and continuity part you will be using uh, the set button so and this is you can see there's a brightness uh, the backlight part also if you press this button for around two seconds then you can see the backlight also glows and it's a white color good uh, backlight and if you are working in a low light environment this is the best thing you have uh, that uh, you can see and measure all the things uh, uh, that what what is the measurement of that uh, sample you are measuring so I am having some of the sample let's start with the demonstration here is it uh, I have turned it on the instrument and you can see it's another DC mode see it's in the DC and it's in millivolt it's an auto range clamp meter so it will detect it automatically if you see that uh, if you see that there is some readings flowing and flowing and it is not constant you can uh, I can confirm it to you that it's uh, it's in the millivolt range and it it detect in the air only so that's why and it's a auto range multimeter uh, clamp meter so it will be giving you some of the readings like this only in the millivolt part and I'm connecting this sample it's a small battery of mine it's a, a old battery and you can see it is showing around 6.95 uh, voltage so it's a quite old battery it's a 9 volt battery the results uh, are on the uh, second decimal place so uh, I can means it's auto automatically you can see that uh, the decimal has been shifted from this place to this place so it is an auto range and the, in the accuracy uh, let's say in the 10 volt range you are getting the accuracy of 0 0.01 so now we will be testing onto the voltage AC part uh, so I have to press the set button and it goes into the AC uh, voltage part and I am uh, having this small uh, extension board of mine and when I will be connecting it uh, to the AC voltage here you can see so the value it is showing is uh, the detection uh, connection is not happening uh, check to it oh here it is uh, might be something uh, with my extension board now it is uh, showing you uh, the correct reading of around uh, 243 uh, voltage 244 volt which is coming uh, from the back side uh, so uh, the, the you can see the accuracy now it is uh, 0.1 uh, so it is showing 243.4 means uh, it is showing one extra digit after the decimal place so now we'll be going on to the uh, next step and uh, I'm having some resistance also and I will be confirming the results of it. So I'm having some resistance with me and I will give you uh, the details uh, that what it is showing. This is around 1 kilo ohm. Uh, now you guys can see that it is uh, the range is around 1 kilo ohm and it is showing 0.988 so it is fine and I am having one other another resistance also and it is around uh, 100k uh, 100 kilo ohm so the value is also fine and uh, when you have to change uh, from uh, the parameters you have to select uh, press the set button over here and then you can see uh, that it is shifting now it is in mega ohm now it is into diode checking it's a continuity part let's just check the continuity buzzer sound 
it's quite uh, good and you can might be hear it uh, in the mic also so it is fine and uh, this is the frequency one let's see uh, it can measure line frequency of it or uh, not oh it is showing good it is showing uh, 49.8 though so in india uh, it is around 50 hertz 49 to 50 hertz so the frequencies uh, uh, are going fine uh, from the, coming from, uh, from the back side then uh, now i'll be going on to the ncv part and giving you a detailed wise uh, confirmation that how what is ncv and how to test it then i'll be giving uh, going ahead with the current uh, ac part so uh, we'll be shifting on to the ncv uh, first of all i want to confirm that ncv stand for non contact voltage detection uh, means if in the wire uh, the voltage is flowing then it can sense it uh, if the voltage is flowing or not it won't be confirming you the value that how much voltage it is flowing in the wire but it will be confirming you the voltage is flowing or not see if uh, there is some breakage at some point then this uh, part uh, this parameter you can use it to check where uh, the breakage part of that wire is so i'm having this extension board you can see here <coughs> i'm on putting on to this ncv uh, this is the NCV sensor on to the top of the uh, clamp meters because now so most of the time most of the clamp meters are coming with uh, these features. So here it is when it goes to uh, this you can see I uh, turn off that extension board and you can see that it is not uh, showing anything even uh, no display of this L LED is glowing up and when I turn on this uh, extension board you can see that that the voltage is coming and it is sensing at the the voltage is uh, quite good so uh, you can see that if i turn off this uh, extension board and i sense it from the wire you can see it is showing uh, that the uh, voltage is flowing but when it comes out over here you can see there is some breakage part the voltage is not coming on because i have turned off this switch and now it is it will show that the voltage is flowing so this is the main thing if you want to check any breakage uh, at some point in the wire you can use this parameter and uh, check and uh, can uh, uh, can repair it uh, that wire and uh, then you can uh, use it at your part so now uh, we come on to the main point uh, that is the AC current part and uh, for first of all i want to confirm that most of my friend want uh, always connect uh, to the clamp like this to check that how much current it is flowing then now you can also see that it is showing only zero i want to confirm that uh, you won't you don't have to uh, put the clamp like this uh, the current part in the clamp meter is always tested on the single wire not on the club of the wire uh, over here uh, you can see I have made uh, some of uh, my own and you can see that there are two wires so uh, we have to uh, take one wire like this uh, then it can sense the current in it so I am turning on this instrument now you can see that the current it is showing is 0 .00. <coughs> it is showing second decimal price accuracy which is fine and uh, let us turn on this soldering iron then you can see it is sensing around 0 0.09 uh, current which this iron is drawing from this uh, extension board <clears throat> so when i turn off this uh, the again current goes to zero and then when turn on it goes uh, 2.09 so, so the least count in this range is, uh, is after the decimal point it's, it can measure around two decimal points it's showing 0 0.09 so every time you have to uh, test the current you have to go through one wire only not the club of the wire but uh, i want to confirm one thing also some of my friends which are having uh, ac and dc clamp meters uh, those people who are measuring uh, the current like this uh, they have to measure the current in the single wire only uh, but in the DC part you have to 
take the wire inside which is of the positive terminal and not the negative terminal because in the positive terminal only uh, the current goes and uh, uh, in AC uh, current you can go through any wire from uh, the, from uh, this wire or the that wire because it's an AC current the uh, current is growing uh, moving uh, on on the both of the wire but in DC current you have to go uh, into only a uh, positive wire only so let me just uh, shift my sample and I'll be confirming it to you the least count uh, of uh, this clamp meter if it shifted or not if we increase that uh, the sample and the current so now I'm changing the sample I have connected this 200 watt bulb with it and uh, now we'll be seeing that uh, uh, you can see that it is still showing 0 0.00 means the decimal point is over here and it is showing uh, two decimal place accuracy and now I'm turning on this uh, uh, bulb and let's see uh, what it is showing uh, so it is showing around a uh, 0.58 current uh, okay it is showing let's see it's showing a uh, 0.53 uh, the least count is still a uh, second decimal uh, place and then you can see uh, that the current now it is taking is much uh, more as compared to the last one so uh, that's it for today this is the uh, let me sum up with this uh, clam meter once again it's quite uh, durable and uh, quite uh, the quality wise is quite fine and uh, the manufacturer details and the contact details are provided with uh, this meter here's this hologram they have provided that the product is quite genuine and for any query or something they have provided their contact details also and uh, it's a quite nice handy uh, clam meter you can take it uh, wherever you want you put, can put it into your pocket and uh, you can go to any service station and you can use this work uh, it's true rms 4000 counts uh, uh, the accuracy and the uh, quality uh, the build up quality is quite good and uh, I had a talk with Sigma people also that uh, add about this price range of this product and uh, they are uh, they are selling this thing uh, and uh, the, uh, the price should be at the budgetary price that, that can suit into everyone's pocket uh, so uh, let's it's it's upon them what the price range they are selling on what is the price range of this instrument you can uh, search it at anywhere and any online uh, marketplace or you can directly contact them uh, for these uh, this instrument price so that's it for today if you have some uh, queries regarding you can uh, uh, write it down to the comment section box and will uh, give you the details and give you the answers uh, as soon as possible so thanks for uh, watching this video.